Hello and welcome to my channel where I use anything to create everything. I hope you've been enjoying the videos, the vlogs from Greece and as you can see I'm not in Greece anymore. No more Corfu. I'm back, back home in, uh, in West Yorkshire and the weather is still good for West Yorkshire. We're still getting pretty good weather although today it's probably about 15 degrees which is half the temperature that I was getting in, uh, in Corfu. But we enjoyed our holiday, me and Sheila, but we're back to it now, back to West Yorkshire, home. So let's just talk about the K1, the Remove UK1 all-in-one stabilizing gimbal uh, thing that I got um, yeah the remove UK one while I was in Corfu I did get some comments um, from you guys um, saying I should have brought the K1 with me and that there's been a recent firmware update and uh, thank you for that so when I got back here to West Yorkshire I did update the K1 and then when I'd done that it did it did indeed correct the lens distortion so that's a good thing for anyone that owns a K1 they have they have sorted that out and they've sorted that out pretty quick so that was great but for me I'd already fallen out with with the camera and it was just because I felt that it was quite fragile and uh, it wasn't gonna put up with the the rigors of going in and out of my bag as I'm walking along and traveling so I, I'd already fallen out with the K1 so I actually I don't own the K1 anymore I sold it as soon as I got back I did update it as I say but I sold it and it sold immediately and uh, I got a pretty good price for it but I don't own the K1 anymore it was an experience I did believe when I bought it I did believe that it was going to be the ultimate vlogging system for myself but um, I didn't anticipate the uh, feeling that it was fragile. I think all the the um, three axis gimbals of that type have a fragile feel. There's just so many moving parts on them. There's no way around it. But um, I'll tell you what did catch my eye. The FDR 3000 from Sony, which is their, that's their action camera, their high-end action camera. And that has uh, optical image stabilization, which is again moving parts. But um, I was going to actually purchase that when I got back. But I've watched a few reviews and I'm pretty sure that the electronic stabilization that's in this Hero 6 is way better than the stabilization in the... Um, in the FDR 3000 from Sony apart from that it's a pretty good camera what what really attracted me to that uh, Sony FDR 3000 was that the, you don't need an adapter you don't need any um, audio adapter to plug a microphone into it so that would have made the system a lot smaller and that was really tempting but um, I've decided not to bother because uh, the stabilization would be an, another drawback. The electronic stabilization in the GoPro Hero 6 is fantastic. I'm walking along just as normal now and it does a great job. And there's no moving parts. I just wish that uh, GoPro had made this with an internal audio. Why I have to have this little box on the back of it is a real pain in. Anyway, so yeah, that's where I'm at with the K1. I no longer own the K1. One of the other cameras that has been tempting me is the Lumix LX15, Lumix LX15, which is a point and shoot camera and it's very high quality. Uh, the only thing, the only drawback to that is uh, there's no external microphone input. Uh, you've got to rely on the internal microphones, which I'm sure will be pretty poor. And if you get, if you get a bit of wind, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just not gonna work. I know people put these little tiny little dead cats on a bit of fur over the, the uh, internal microphones But it just doesn't really work um, Good audio is very important for vlogging. I do believe because after all You're rambling on about stuff. So you need a uh, good clear audio So yeah, I've tempted with the LX15 is a very good camera uh, Be brilliant for like getting b-roll and stuff like that but I just want an all-in-one piece of kit. I have owned so many cameras in search of the perfect uh, camera. Just one, one camera that does all. Does it exist? I don't think it does. 
Um, but regarding regarding vlogging, um, I did own a camera quite a few years ago, and it was so close. When I think about it, it was so close to the perfect vlogging camera. And it was the Canon Mini X, not to be confused with the Canon Mini. That camera was similar form factor, but uh, very poor audio. And they brought out the Canon Mini X, and I owned, I owned two of them actually, and sold them. And I have heard that they are a bit bit of a collector's item now and you can't get hold of them they still go for quite a high price i think i paid 600 pound for it brand new when i when i bought it years ago and it has brilliant audio brilliant microphones on the front of and front facing microphones flip up screen which you can turn upside down you can turn the whole camera upside down and it inverts so you can have the screen underneath if you want or on top brilliant little camera and also it had um, microphone input so you can put external microphone on there a line in as well and you could also mix between within the camera you could mix between the onboard microphone and the microphones that um the external microphone if you know what i'm saying i'm getting a bit confused yes you, you could mix between them you could uh, put uh, whatever measurement you could put more on more on the internal microphones and less on the external microphone or vice versa you you could mix between the two absolutely brilliant system and a tiny camera just look it up the canon mini x they don't make them anymore but if they rehashed it um they, they could probably sell that as a brilliant vlogging system the only drawback to it was and this is the reason that i sold it um was it was fisheye it had a you know an eight millimeter uh, fisheye lens brilliant but um, I didn't like the, the, the fisheye effect all the time. I could fix it in post, but just that's just one more step, always fixing that. But I kind of wish I'd kept it because uh, brilliant camera. You could, um, you could crop in and make it not fisheye, but when you cropped in, the quality went down so, so much it, it was unusable. But yeah, the Canon Mini X was so close to the perfect vlogging camera and I don't know why Canon just don't redo that with like a linear a linear look like the GoPro that I'm using now when you put it on linear that would be absolutely brilliant that would be a brilliant camera you could just use it holding it in your hand the, the front facing microphones were awesome and uh, and obviously being able to put an external one on as well and mix between the two absolutely fantastic camera so look that up it's a very interesting camera um, and like I said I think they're a bit of a collector's item now but that was close to the most perfect vlogging camera that I've ever had and it is tiny I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog me getting a few things off my chest about cameras it's just an ongoing thing isn't it will will we ever be happy with the camera we've got technology moves on so fast I mean the the Canon M50 that is on that is just you know it's nagging away at me I'm really tempted to towards that camera as well uh, Canon M50 yeah um, but um, somebody said that the Canon M50 the dual pixel autofocus which I have experienced before having owned the Canon 80D fantastic system but um, somebody did tell me that in 4k the dual pixel autofocus does not work now that doesn't affect me because I never record in 4k I just have no reason to and I haven't got a powerful enough computer to deal with 4k but if ever I did I'd be really disappointed to find out that uh, that the uh, M50 dual pixel autofocus doesn't work in 4K. That's what somebody told me. So that uh, that makes me think I'm just going to stick with my um, Lumix G80 for now because uh, because that is a fantastic camera. I think they're they're very similar, very similar price bracket as well. It's just that the lenses are cheaper with the Canons. That's all. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog 
and uh, remember if you like this video give me a like and uh, please consider subscribing that would be great and until the next one bye bye